Hey everyone, it's Travel G1981 here, and it is December. It is the first week of December. It's a Saturday. I'm not in a great mood because my team, my NCAA football team, just lost. It made up, it just was devastating to see how they performed. Um, and I'm gonna say it was USC, University of Southern California. Mm, what a game. But, with a horrible game comes a review. So, it's the holidays, and this is going to definitely go into my holiday playlist that I'm going to create soon. You've seen my other videos I've done for the holidays, which is the Stolen, Strollen from uh, uh, Germany, the Penantoni from Italy, the... Um, oh, I can't remember the other one. But I did another one. It was it was like a sort of like Christmas cookie. So here we go. This is eggnog, and I went to the uh, store uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago just to look for some things that would ease my mind from the heavy loss that we lost today. <sighs> Man. So let's let's hope this review gets my spirits up because I love eggnog. I won't be here. For from uh, I don't know maybe the second week of December till next month, uh, which I'll be doing most of my videos in a secret location. More details later, um, and where I'm at when I have eggnog, and that is why I'm going to do a review of eggnog. So this is a uh, company called Brogieris. Uh, if you guys remembered uh, that Charlie Sheen, he was in the winning sort of circle where he was drinking chocolate milk. And this is the same company that makes the chocolate milk that Charlie Sheen loves to drink. Hashtag winning. But now he's hashtag losing. Anyways, on a further note, this is Brogieris. Uh, they make, they have different milks. I think the eggnog and the chocolate milk are very, ex they're, they're expensive, the expensive, uh, products. Eggnog was like maybe six ninety nine for this. Yes. It's a, um, really don't tell me how big is it. It's a quart. Premium old fashioned eggnog. Uh, homogenized pasteurized milk, cream egg yolk, nutmeg, spices, artificial flavors, and sugar. Uh, and it's in down in Montebello, California. Milk so fresh, the cow does not know it's missing. That's their their uh, marketing uh, catchphrase for bug years. So they have the picture of this cow here with a medal, and then they have the standing cow in the farm. Famous since 1920. Uh... You can actually reuse this bottle. I'm probably going to do the same thing with this bottle. Just reuse it afterwards for, I don't know, milk maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the first time in the history of my channel that I'm going to be reviewing eggnog. So let's open this bad boy up. It has a safety seal. Now we're going to open it. Mmm, great. I got my see-through cup, my Matador Seasun cup, my tumbler, I guess, if that's what you're going to call it. And here we go, we're pouring the contents in. Wish we had some Christmas music, but, you know, for copyright issues and uh, all these other copyrights that are going on nowadays, I try to refrain from using any music at all, because, you know, they'll flag your video and eh, just a long process. So here we go, some Brogieris eggnog. Cheers. Mm, it's not too strong like the uh, the market version, because the market sells their own version of eggnog, and that's very heavy. You can tell when you just put it, just take a sip. So I took just took, took a little sip of the Brogieris uh, eggnog, and it's not too thick. It's not too strong. I don't know. The taste of this eggnog is very bizarre. Uh, 
It's not the regular egg, strong fluidity of eggnog a flavor that I'm used to. This is like a different uh, eggnog flavor, I guess. Yeah, it's very different. For $7, it's very different. <laughs> Mm. Anyways, as you can see from inside there, I don't know if I can do it without spilling, but they have those little dots. Those are the uh, cinnamon, the spices, or whatever they have in there. Um, let's read it. The nutmeg and the spices, yep. And I just dropped some eggnog on my calendar. Yeah, not so good. So, I'm going to finish the last bit. Can't rush it down too fast. I think it'll, it'll, it'll just slowly grow on, grow on to me. Well, I think what I like about it is sugar is like the last ingredient, so that means there's not too much, I would think, there's not there's not too much sugar added into this eggnog. Usually the first ingredient they have listed um, is usually they have a lot of, which is um, homogenized pasteurized milk, cream egg yolk, and nutmeg. So those are like the main top ingredients in this eggnog here. Mm. Very interesting. Uh, I guess uh, my rating for this would be a definite 4 out of 5. I just like it because it's not too strong. It's not too sweet. Uh, certainly it's not the one that I probably would have had in during, a long time ago with my aunt. I know she made it eggnog, but it had liquor in it, so that's why it didn't taste so well. That's a teenager, yeah. Didn't like the taste of eggnog, but as soon as I grew older and I ventured out and had eggnog on my own, so I like the taste. But this one is much, much better. Why? Because it's not too strong and not too sweet. Uh, it's a little thick on the side, I guess, but still very good. So, this is my review of the Brogueris eggnog. Hope you enjoyed this review. Check this out at your local grocery store, and note that it will cost you an arm and a leg. If you do, in, uh, <clears throat> if you do take a uh, whiff of it, please leave a comment below. Take a picture of yourself. Leave a comment below with your picture, maybe if possible. Um, maybe send a picture of you drinking an eggnog, and I'll leave uh, an email for you to email me a picture of you drinking eggnog, and I'll put in my next video. How about that? So, that is it. <coughs> Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Leave a comment below. Like my video. Subscribe to my video if you not already have. Share with other friends. Share it on social media. Relatives, co-workers, friends. Complete strangers maybe. <coughs> and wait for my next video because I'm doing eggnog as well. This is Travel 1981 here. See ya.